This is the post game, and this is Jeff Eisenband. Greg Schiano will not be head coach at Tennessee. I can promise you that. Fan influence was a major reason for that. I can promise you that, too. But there are some details in this story that are not definite. I can explain. On Sunday, rumors spread of Shiano becoming a candidate for the Tennessee head coaching vacancy. Shiano is perhaps best known for his moderately successful run as head coach of Rutgers and underwhelming tenure as head coach of the Tampa Bay Bucks. Currently, he is employed as defensive coordinator and associate head coach for Ohio State. At 1.40 p.m. Eastern Time Sunday, USA Today's Dan Wolken tweeted that Tennessee was finalizing a deal with Shiano and hoping to make an official announcement later in the day. But Thanksgiving break ended early in Knoxville. Tennessee fans, notably students, began to mobilize at Neyland Stadium. Twitter erupted. A student named Trip Underwood painted this rock on Tennessee's campus. It reads, Shiano covered up child rape at Penn State. Child rape is a major accusation, so how did we get here? Well, one of Shiano's early coaching gigs was at Penn State under a coach named Joe Paterno. Shiano was a graduate assistant in 1990 and then the defensive backs coach from 1991 to 1995. If you know your Penn State history, then you know the defensive coordinator at the time was Jerry Sandusky. And you also know Shiano would have been gone roughly 16 years before Sandusky was indicted. Mike McQuarrie arrived at Penn State in 1994 as a quarterback out of nearby State College area high school. He overlapped with Shiano for a couple of years, but most of his Penn State growth occurred while Shiano was elsewhere. McQuarrie became a grad assistant in 2000 and worked his way up to a role as wide receivers coach in 2004. McQuarrie was put on paid leave in 2011, shortly after he was identified as a key witness in the Sandusky case. McQuarrie had witnessed Sandusky in the act in 2001, six years after Shiano left Happy Valley. In a 2015 deposition, McQuarrie brought Shiano into the fold when he said former player and coach Tom Bradley had told McQuarrie of a similar claim made by Shiano in the 90s. Greg had come into his office white as a ghost and said he just saw Jerry doing something to a boy in the shower, McQuarrie said. When the deposition became public in 2016, Shiano denied those claims to ESPN saying, I never saw any abuse nor had reason to suspect any abuse during my time at Penn State. Both sides can be argued. If there is anything McQuarrie is known for, it's telling the truth. His whistleblowing about Sandusky led others to speak out. His honesty put all these wheels in motion. With that said, Shiano has never been proven guilty, and there is reason to believe McQuarrie could have attempted to bring others down with him. McQuarrie separated from his wife and has had trouble finding work since his involvement in the case became public. By walking into that locker room on that one day,